So number nine then from paper two, the 2021 Advanced Higher Resource Paper. A big question. Ten marks this time. Part A express that in partial fractions, presumably because you're going to be using it in part B to solve this differential equation here, which will, of course, require an integration. Right, well, it just says express that in partial fractions just for two marks. Well, if you were to express that in partial fractions, one of them would have to have a denominator of x, and the other would have to have a denominator of 5 minus x. Those are the two linear denominators. If that's the case, and you were to add this into a single fraction to compare it to this fraction, the numerator of that should equal the numerator of that. Now, the numerator of that would be a get multiplied by the 5 minus x. The numerator of that would be the b times the x. Sometimes you just think, take that across and multiply. So that should equal 1. Now, the first mark's just for doing this. So in this part, now, <clears throat> there's two ways of solving that. You could multiply that out and compare them term by term. A term in x with the term in x, the constant term with the constant term, or you could just use the knockout values. I don't know why I put that down. So if you chose x equals, let's say we knock out that first of all, x equals 0, it'll leave a. If x was to equal 0, that means you'd have a times 5, which is 5a, equal to the 1, so a would be a fifth. Now to get b, I want to knock this out. If you were to make x equal 5, that means that you've got that knocked out, and now you've got 5 times the b makes 1, so that's also a fifth. So putting that back together, it means that eventually that becomes a is a fifth, so put that underneath, so it'll be 1 over 5x. b is also a fifth, so that'll be 1 over 5 times 5 minus x. So that's the mark. Now in part B, what does it say? A small island has been populated by seals. The size of the population is modelled by this differential equation here. And it tells you that P, the size of the population, is in hundreds. It's the number of hundreds. And it's between 0 and 5. It gives you initial, uh, not initial conditions, it gives you a pair of conditions here. It says that the population is 250. Now that's 2.5 because it's a number of hundreds when t is 10. And from that, you have to find an expression for p in terms of t. Well, first of all, separate the variables. So I'll have dp, it's going to take a load of room this, dp over p times 5 minus p is going to be one hundredth of dt. Then integrate that. So I think that was the first mark. Now this part. That's the same as this. 1 over x, 5 minus x, 1 over p, 5 minus p. So you can just use that final result. Now there's a fifth in common, so I'll just take that out right now. So one fifth of the integral of and that will just be 1 over, instead of x, I'll put p, plus 1 over, instead of 5 minus x, I'll put 5 minus p. dp is 100th of the integral of dt. That's worth a mark. Now, there's two marks for the integration, so I've got a fifth. I suppose I could take that across just now and make that a 20th. So you've got integrating this would be 1 over p goes to ln of p, and that's quite safe because p is positive. I don't need to put the modulus. That goes to ln of 5 minus p, which looks as if it could go negative, but it can't because p can only p has to be less than 5. So I can just put round brackets there. But divide by the inner derivative, which is negative 1, so that's minus that. Different, integrate this side, and that's going to be t. And then just put a plus c. Now there was two marks there, I'll just put it down as there and there. Now we've got to find what this c is. Well I could tidy that up a bit first of all. So that's ln of p over 5 minus p equals a twentieth of t plus something. Now, find that something, I'm going to do that over here. So ln of p is 2.5. 
5 minus 2.5 is also 2.5. And that should be a twentieth of 10 plus something. Well, 2.5 or 2.5 is 1. Log of 1 is 0. So that just says 0 equals, and a twentieth of 10 is a half. So that means that C is negative a half. So now I can put this down. So I've got ln of P over 5 minus P equals a twentieth of T, or I could put T over 20 minus a half. So I think there was maybe two marks over there, because there's only... After that, oh, I'll put one there. Right, now sort this out. Well, the first step would be... I'm running out of room. Get rid of the log. P over 5 minus P will be e to the power, and that's a bit of a pest, because that's a messy looking thing, that. T upon 20 minus a half, or you could have them as decimals if you like, it's the same thing. That's a mark, but I need to P though, so I'll need to take that across and multiply. I best put it over here then, bringing this over. So now I've got this, I've got P equals this multiplying it. So it's going to be 5 times it, 5 times that e to the power thing, minus P times e to that power, just to keep it sort of neat just now. And if I bring that over to join the P's together, I'll have 1 here, and that'll come across as a plus e of that thing, will be 5e of that thing. So finally, P will be 5e of that thing, which was t upon 20, minus a half, divided by 1 plus e of that thing, t upon 20, minus a half. And then I better go back and fill all these in. It's a bit of a paste, that. There, that's the final mark.